boxing background, been boxing since he was little, went all around the states of United States of America, was in Utah, was in Vegas, was over there in Florida for five years, and has now made his way over here into California. Well, we've seen how great boxing uh, backgrounds have helped out with the champion being Taporia. You know, if he can implement those heavy shots, ripping the body and catching with the overhands, it could be his night. He trained out over there at American Top Team, now named Freedom Fighters. Loved mixing the martial arts over there and decided, you know, I'm gonna go into mixed martial arts. Trained with a lot of guys that are professional fighters in their own right, Combate Global. And now, you know, he has he got the fight three weeks ago and been in California for only a year. Cut down from 164 pounds, looking to take on Victor Burgos here of Burgo Jiu Jitsu Academy. Fighting three weeks ago, this means he wants to stay active and he's had that feeling of what it's like to be in the cage. That is very important. Getting that feeling, being on the mat, competing at the full speed, that helps out a lot. It's a huge advantage. Also, it says that he works at Amazon, so you know, he said he's going to be delivering the packages and delivering the punch here tonight. Uh -huh. As we have Victor Burgos coming out here with his brother, Arturo Burgos, in his corner. This one should be a good one. Said he prepared himself as much as he could in there, got and worked in a lot of different places, and describes himself as a free willing freestyle fighter. Oh, I would love it, man. It could be called the delivery man. I would, I would love, that would be a great nickname, very unique, and he can show off what he's showing, that he basically delivers when he shows up. We got this bantamweight matchup underway. Victor Burgos in the red corner of the 5'7 Burgos Jiu Jitsu Academy attendant looks to climb to 1-0 in his amateur career. The 32-year-old hometown na native of Bakersfield, California looks to take on Fernando Placencia of Vacaville, California. 25 years old in his own right out of California boxing a two-inch height differential between Placencia and Burgos a seven-year age difference and a now two-hour distance in time between these gentlemen as they look to get these cage doors closed and this action underway Jim Cooley with the fight announcement One thing I do love is that Victor's, one of his idols, are the Diaz brothers. So we could see a, definitely a scrap coming down. You would not be one to fool me if you were to tell me that the Burgos brothers give a little bit of a resemblance or a little bit of liking to those Diaz brothers. If you ever get to meet them, very, very quiet, very, very keep their cards close to their deck. And, you know, it was a great pleasure getting to speak to both of them and getting to know them a bit. But very nice gentlemen. Just, you know, keep it real close to the, keep their cards real close to their, uh, to their fold there. They're definitely two loyal people. Definitely stick to themselves and their brothers at heart. They definitely take a lot of liking to the Diaz brothers. A lot of similarities. Placencia with touching him up here with some early strikes. It looks like looks like Fernando is controlling the ring currently, controlling the center of the octagon. Burgos needs to work off the cage here. What is some advice that you would give to Victor Burgos if you were in the corner here assisting him tonight? Personally, I need to see more urgency out of him. It looks like he still needs to be able to wake up. Um, he looks like he's relaxing too much on the cage, taking too many shots. And it seems that Placencia is seeming to find a timing for his shots here over at the Elite Fitness Center. 
And what are some things that you're seeing from Placencia that is helping to aid his success here? Oh, he's looking amazing in the boxing department right now. He's picking his shots, picking his one-twos, and being very patient. All that boxing experience is showing that it's paying off. It definitely looks like a boxing showcase here in the 661 as Victor Burgos is needing to work off that cage as I stated previously. And this one may need to be stopped here early. It might need to be stopped, but it doesn't look like the ref is getting close. Usually the ref will give you a warning and saying move. Um, he's definitely being super patient. Looks like he's been there a thousand times. Kane looking to give these gentlemen the free will as Burgos lives let, let Placencia get the early takedown here. Burgos trying to work a guillotine choke here. And I believe that was a mistake by Fernando. Uh, he was doing amazing in the boxing department. And we got our first round tap. And a sub from Victor Burgos here. A guillotine puts out Placencia in the first round. And Bakersfield now sits at 2-0 on the night here at the Elite Fitness Center. That seemed like a great scrap in the beginning. It was going all of Fernando's way, but this is mixed martial arts. Shows you anything can happen at any moment, at any time. But he shot for a takedown when he was clearly winning the striking exchange, but sometimes you're exhausted. It happens. Sometimes you don't make the IQs when you don't have that experience.